Hey, what's up, Soul Nation? It's Lost Today, I'm bringing you guys a um, <laughs> Pokemon Center replays stuff. Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> um, I got three battles here for you guys today. Um, I did upload a video a couple minutes ago about Keldeo Clutch, and I used a new song in the background. I don't know if you heard. Also, there was a ton of edits in that one that took me about 20 to 30 minutes. Tell me if you guys want to see videos like that. Or do you want to see videos like how this one's going to be with intro, outro, lit, very little edits, uploaded, done, that's it. Tell me how you want to see uploads or no uploads. So, let's get right into the battle. Um, so, just clicking a couple buttons. <laughs> Alright, so he lead, I lead off with Landers, Therian, um, XX Space God. XX. Um, he leads off with Ferrothorn. I go into my Venusaur, which is my Ferrothorn killer, since it has HP fire. And mind you, this is an offense team. Venusaur has max attack, max special attack, and max speed. So look at that, 80%. That's really good. And him judging by the damage he took, he thought he is Ferrothorn is really useful, and he didn't want to bring anything in. Here he protects just to get the um, thing, so he kind of did block the sleep powder, but I really don't think I, I get to use my sleep powder. Um, since I'm not defensive, that does a lot, but I do use Giga Drain, since I know he might be offensive. Here he goes for another protect so he can live the next one. Um, it, it, I don't really care. <laughs> Um, this video might be really short, but that's cool. I might put four battles, because, like, two of these battles are really short, or one, one battle. Um, and I'll save this one. I'll put that one after this one, but he just keeps protecting and aerial lacing as I'm giga training. I'm getting way more than what he's hurting me for, so he just goes for the last one, and with the uh, giga dream, that would have, I, I got up to exactly half here. He has to bring in Okay, he brings in Garchomp. He could have easily brought in something else, but it's, um, yeah, Life Orb, uh, EQ, obviously will kill Venusaur since I am not invested in HP or defense. So here, I kind of double predicted, uh, I double switched into him, predicting him to predict me to, to be Scarfed and him to go into Sylveon, and also for me to go for a uh, Draco. So that really worked out on my part, and um, I go for an Iron Head knowing it'll kill. Heracross, I know these things outspeed me as a, as a Mega, um, so I just brought in the one thing I can most likely handle it, but it turns out to be a SD variant, I think. No, it's not this one. I played a battle where I used this team and they had a SD Heracross, but you know. So I get a crit here, um, I don't think he gets a return quit. Return crit. <laughs> um, I am able to live with 3 HP just barely, um, luckily enough I get to hit and I get another crit, still he doesn't get any return crits, I'm scarfed so I, I thought Greninja is probably the biggest threat to my team, so I just want to get damage. Here I bring in Conkilder and I know that <laughs> he may not switch out since really to my team Keldeo and Bisharper kind of stops to it. Um, unless it has Grass Knight, Hidden Power Fire, or Fighting. And, um, he actually gets one return crit, but I don't think he gets two. Um, here, I go into Latias, or Latio, sorry, and I just drop the nuke. And, um, I know I win, because I won already. <laughs> Alright, and on to the next battle. Okay, so as you can see, our next person here to be playing against us is the Gumi. Okay, sorry about that run of pause, but yeah, the Gumi, um, link to his channel will be down in the description. I was supposed to upload this battle a long, long time ago, but since school came up, and that's why I didn't upload this during that previous weekend, so, yeah, let's get on to the battle. Um, also, backstory to this, um, me and Gumi were both having a chat, um, in Showdown, and I, um, I saw a video that he did with Swagalif, um, about the fighting spam. I'll leave that down in the description, but even though it's just like a couple weeks old now. Um, and I told him that Sturdy Sock is much better than Mold Breaker, so then we have a conversation back and forth. He's like, oh no, Mold Breaker is better than this. No, Sturdy is better than this because of this, 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 this. So then I, he, he gave a really good point there, 
and he said that he wants a mold breaker to break any sturdies or really bulky things. So I'm like, all right. Um, I I'm like, oh yeah, that's true, and it was. It's it's really cool. Now there's one thing that I didn't. I, um, that happened. I I made this team. I told him I'm gonna make a team, and if you want to battle, we can battle. If you don't, it's cool. So I went AFK for for a couple seconds. For those of you who don't know what that means, I'll flash on your screen real quick. So yeah, that's what AFK AFK means. Not JFK, John F. Kennedy, but AFK. Um, and he he challenged me while I was AFK. So when I came back, it turned out he left. So next day we battle. And we have this, and this entire team is a sturdy team, but <laughs> yeah, I'll show you why it's quick. So he leads off with Kanye, a little skirm, taunt, and Joe Peck almost kills he, he was probably sashed, so. Um, he gets a tailwind up, which, uh, like, I didn't see his point. Um, he could have easily just tried to with, with Choice Banded, close combat, and that does over half, now that is definitely banded. Um, Joe Peck, and look what he does. He forfeits. <laughs> yep, he forfeits. <laughs> and, uh, I kept saying this to him. When we were, before we were battling, I told him, told you your sock can't wreck me. Because of sock, S-A-W-K, S-O-C-K. Sock, sock. Um, I kept saying that, you know, as a joke, but, you know. And it turns out sturdy is much more useful than mold breaker. Next pack. Okay, we've returned, or at least I've returned. <laughs> um, and this battle, same team as before. Um, as you can see, it's a dark mono, quote unquote. I guess you can say, except for that Gyarados, it is water flying. But when it does Mega Ball, it becomes water and dark. So I guess you can say it's water dark mix. Get right into the battle. He leads off with Gyarados. I lead off with Conkelder. Um, he gets that um, Intimidate off, and that actually comes in useful for me. So now I know that before I can predict him to go into the Gyarados, so I can go into Bishop. He makes a really good play in predicting me to go into Venusaur. I just switch in Lander since I know I can get the minus one. And wow, <laughs> the um, the Brave Bird Life War really does a lot to me. Um, a Stone Edge predicting him to not Mega Evolve, and he he was probably predicting me to go for an EQ. Here he does a very questionable play. I go for a Stone Edge. Maybe he was predicting a switch on my part. Um, and there he wasn't probably carrying um Ice Shard, which is why he switched. He goes out into Skunk Tank. I'm assuming that's defensive. Um, I'm assuming, and I was really hoping here for a poison, but. <laughs> I am guts, but I didn't get it, and it turns out Skunk Tank actually gets played off. I, I've i never played a Skunk Tank in X and Y before, so I had no idea. I go for a knockoff. I know it is resistive, but I need to get that life orb off if I do want to be able to do stuff. Now, here he gets a poison, which really pissed me off so much. But um, I decided just to stay in, get damage. Damage is damage, and here I guess it was predicting me to go into Latias. Um, I go for a secret sword since I know it wrecks his entire team. And he brings in a hunch girl. I know he's just gonna brave bird, but I need to sack something off. So I sack off Latios. And to my surprise, it all goes. I thought I could probably take one, but nope. Hey, <laughs> I, I can't take one. And he gets Moxie, which is really bad. I go in a by sharp. Um, and I know he's probably just gonna over predict, but there is no reason why he would not go for, predict me to go for sucker punch. And here, I actually thought he would go for an Ice Shard, which is why I went for Iron Head instead of Sucker Punch. Here he goes for an Ice Punch, but I'm t I'm t again, I'm not defensive, so that's why I did so much. Yeah, even though through Thick Fat, without Thick Fat, I would have at least done over half. Um, Sucker Punch comes in, and I HP Fire. He goes for another one. And I go for another one. And here at this point, I know Kildeo wins me the game, unless that is not Scarfed. And it's not Scarfed, it's actually Specs, I believe. Because I did outspeed since my Kildeo is Specs. And I get a crit, and I win. 
Um, next battle. Uh, sure. Okay, we're back, and um, as you can see, it's another Dark Mono. Now, weird thing was, I was actually laddering up with this team. Um, I think I got up to like the twelve hundreds with this team, and then I stopped laddering, or like the eighteen hundred something. I don't remember, but not on this account. I was, oh no, it was on this account. I don't know what I actually did get up to. I kind of want to check right now. Um, yeah. Okay, so I double checked and I got one one twenty seven. Yep, one one twenty seven. And as you can see, this is actually an elite four from some some server on Showdown. So that since I did really good in this battle, I'm not I'm not really crazy mad about the how it ended. So. Um, yeah, let's go with this. This will be my last battle. So he leads off with Green Ninja, I lead off with Lenders. Um, I go for a U-turn, <laughs> particularly him, I go for U-turn. And since I am Scarfed and Outspeed, I go to Conkelder. Um, it turned out he's a Lichy Berry, but he, he can't substitute. Ha ha ha. Turned out he's, um, physical. And he actually predicts me right there, really good and hard. Um, he goes for a shadow sneak and I go for a mock punch and I know my best bet is to go for a knockoff. Um and he brings in crowd on here and I know he probably just might aqua jet. So Venusaur is my best bet here and I predicted correctly. I probably wouldn't end up with one judging by how much he did to Venusaur. Um I know outspeed since I am max speed invested. Um I probably think he didn't um know that but I just get the drain here I'm telling you hyper offense it's a really cool team I got there um Hunchkrow again Hunchkrow is a really huge th threat to my team but Conkelder is <laughs> my least useful thing at this point and it is Life Orb and he has Moxie I bring in Latios and I know it does have Sucker Punch but <laughs> the crit probably did matter Plus one, yeah, it, it probably mattered. I don't know, but I should have came into Lenders first. Gone for a Stone Edge on the minus on the neutral Hunch Crow instead of having to sack off Latios. But really, to tell you the truth, Latios was really useful or useless at this point. It's a dark model from here, and that that Hydreigon is probably scarfed. So he sets up here and by Sharp, and he almost gets a cleanup. Almost, and you'll see why. I am faster than it. People don't. People sleep on hyper offense of Venusaur, and then I can HP fire. I cannot speed a lot of things. Um, max HP by Sharp Bite. It cannot outspeed me. Um, and I know I could have lived the one either way, and I should go for Switch Bomber to do him to switch out. But here I just go for a Steep Powder. <laughs> Since this is a huge strength, I do not want to play with this. Um, I go for HP fire and a kill. So that was really good. Um, Houndoom, and now at this point, okay, so I'm stupid. Ah, <sighs> let me just, oh my god, let me go back to turn 16. So, alright, let me go back to where I was. So, I HP fire. Now, you might have known I paused the video. I thought I could pause the video pressing F9 here. I didn't really need to, but I was, uh, there we go. Okay. So I know I win this battle because of one thing. Keldeo. Keldeo outspeeds Houndoom. And, no, it does not outspeed Houndoom. It does outspeed Specs or Assault Vest, um, Hydreigon, I believe. I believe, I'm not sure. I believe. Um, and, Houndoom usually don't have HP grass to hit me or hit any grass type, so I know I kind of win with this game. Here he just goes for Dark Pulse on Mega on my Mega Venus or Mega Houndoom and like I said before, Keldeo is my my check to his entire team. Sludge Bomb, a Secret Sword, get a crit back from what he deserved from that Sucker Punch. Doubt it mattered. I am Specs and here I go for a Secret Sword, just ending like the other battle where I killed the Hydreigon with the Sacred Sword, I believe. And now he was 1092. Which was extremely good, and this was the last battle after that because here it says my ranking is 1172. So he was really cool, or not really cool, <laughs> he was really good on the ladder. Um, 
definitely those predictions he made really helped him out in the long run. But Caldeo pulled it through again. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.